I and Shang Tsung were successful in reviving the mummified remains of the Dragon King's undefeatable army. It would appear that nothing could stand in the way of Shang Tsung and I as they began our domination of the realms. Unfortunately for Shang Tsung, however, I had no further need for the partnership. Once Shang Tsung had finally revived the last of the mummified warriors, I closed the portal to the heavens and effectively shut off Shang Tsung's endless supply of souls. I then instructed Kano to assassinate Shang Tsung in a surprise weapon attack. With their captor cut wide open, the thousands of souls Shang Tsung had consumed in the past spewed forth and swirled around the room. I came to the realization that if Kano could so easily turn on Shang Tsung, he could also turn on myself. I used my sorcery to drain the life from Kano and left his body where it fell. Immediately one of the lingering souls shot into Kano's body. To my surprise, the man standing before me was no longer the black dragon thug known as Kano. Kano's body now contained the soul of the Shaolin monk, Lu Kong. I and Shang Tsung were successful.